Hey everybody, welcome to another week at the Tirolerin. We are going to finish this corner to get the beam replaced. We have one joist where we still take the, have to take the beam out underneath it. So we are going to do that. And then over here, we have to take these three joists out. They're all rotten. And then we'll see in the corner if there's anything we have to replace. There will also be a few studs that we need to take out. You can see potentially here in the video already that they tried to fix this before. I personally not happy how, how they fixed it. So I'm going to take out their repair and do it ourselves. So you can see I have to take out this beam still, it's still rotten. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut straight on this side of the joist, uh, <clears throat> on this side of the stud, cut down the beam and then replace the entire section. can see as soon as I took the stud that I cut off of right here out all that side of this joist is completely rotten all that stuff just fell out of here so I'm glad that we took it out because now I know I need to really replace this whole joist because it just doesn't have any support um, which also gives me the opportunity to just take it out lift this joist up and then put a whole piece of beam underneath it and I can finish these two spots all at once. Next step is to lift this joist up, put some 2x4s temporarily underneath here, the, uh, that temporary wall over here, or that. <clears throat> so the next step is to lift this up high enough so that we can fit a beam in afterwards. I don't want to take this joist out, I want to just get it out of the way, because this joist is totally fine, I checked, there's no rod on the bottom or anything, so this one is good. We just need to lift it up high enough so that the beam can fit in. So I'm gonna use some of those blocks to put on up underneath afterwards, but let's just see how I can get that up.
The next thing we need to install is another joist on the outside here so that we can continue the floor all the way to the wall, of course. Since I have the beam right underneath it and the studs are, don't, uh, are not as wide as the beam, I actually have to not use a 2x10, I just have to use a thinner piece. I already cut it, I just need to make sure it's at the right height compared to the joist here. So we just installed the joists and some of the bracing but I just don't have enough material to finish. I'm actually going to do bracing all around the room because <clears throat> it's going to make the room, the floor more sturdy plus it's going to also give me somewhere where I can nail down the floor all the way at the outside of the wall. So I'm going to have to do that and therefore I need more materials so I need to make a quick run to those. And since it's kind of late already today in the evening, I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's Sunday and we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday, adding some bracing in between the joists. I'll also do it on the outside like yesterday said, because it's just gonna give more stability plus also it gives us some backing when we put the spray foam in that it just doesn't go all the way in the basement. the bracing over on this side I bought some of those metal plates and also some of the angles and I want to use them to secure the studs a little better strengthen them and then also maybe put a couple between the beam and also the joist and stuff so let's get on going on that
you can see we finished all the framing over here went all the way around and we stopped right here the reason why I stopped here is because you you might be able to tell in the middle here there's this board this is not a full two by material it's actually only a one by so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and I will put a two by six that is the full length over here the reason why that is is this board is sitting on top of a beam underneath it so I can't put a full height so what I'm gonna do is I got a two, two by four and then shim it up with other pieces and brace it more often than the other pieces so therefore we should have all the stability that we need So here's the joist that we put in. It's a two by six, like I said, probably obviously undersized, but that's why I put, put all that blocking on the side and also the bracing slash blocking that we put in between, so it shouldn't go anywhere. I think that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time we will finish the framing. We have a little bit more of blocking to do on the outside. Plus, we have to fix the joists behind the camera there in that corner in the dining room where that entire rotten floor was. We have to take the joists out, put the new ones in. I don't think we have to repair the beams, but we will have to repair some studs. So it might take us all next week just to do that and finish the blocking. So within the next two weeks, we will probably be done with the flooring, but like it is always with these old houses, when you start opening up things, you find more and more issues. So I hope we don't find too many more things. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.